What's going on, Jerome's? First injury report for Saints versus Vikings over in London Town is out. Uh, and now the Saints are already over there because of the home field advantage. Vikings don't get to travel until Thursday, which frankly is some, some baloney, absolute BS, but whatever, whatever. Uh, so for the Saints, uh, almost 25% of their 53-man roster was listed on the injury report. And we're not talking about, hey, we got to list something, but they're a full participant. We're talking about DNPs and limited participation. Now, some of that could be due to travel. Who, who really knows? But Ryan Ramchick, the pride of Winona State, then he became a stupid badger. So listed as a rest day, but he was on the injury report and limited last week with an elbow injury. So that's something to be watching. Uh, Jameis Winston, a DN, uh, famously DNP'd with a, bank, a back and ankle injury. Back sounded very, uh, very Jeffrey Dahmer-esque right there. But uh, Jameis... He says that he plans uh, practice on Thursday. Dennis Allen, their supposed head coach, says that uh, there's – what was it? That there doesn't think there's concern about Jameis's availability this week. So we may not be able to get the red rifle all up in here. Also notably, Jarvis Landry, Michael Thomas, uh, DNP'd with ankle and foot injuries. Now they went down in the game against Carolina last week, which was a Saints loss, by the way. Andres Pete dealing with a concussion. Uh, who knows if he can clear uh, concussion protocol uh, by Sunday, uh, as well as Alvin Kamara is, has limited with a rib injury. Now he's been dinged up throughout most of the season. So a bunch of the Saints offensive playmakers, eh, maybe not so much. Also, not gonna lie, I'm rooting that Jameis plays. Who knows? Uh, and then uh, they also have a bunch of other uh, significant players uh, out there with uh, some injuries. So uh, Paulson uh, Adebo, who's been missing with an ankle, uh, he's limited. So that's good news for them. Marcus Davenport, their stud edge rusher, uh, limited with a shoulder injury. Uh, Traquan Smith, uh, Taysom Hill. Uh, Taysom Hill has been dealing with a rib injury and missed last week, but he uh, looks to be good to go. Took some backup quarterback snaps uh, with Jameis missing, as well as Marcus May, uh, limited with a rib injury. So couple significant Saints uh, missing some time. Now, this could just be odd week with the international travel, giving some guys a rest day, uh, and then we'll see how they progress on Thursday and Friday. But definitely enough to raise an eyebrow. Vikings-wise, so they're practicing here uh, in the great state of Minnesota, traveling on Thursday. They're going to practice Friday. Uh, but uh, the Vikings, uh, Kendricks and Harrison Smith, both back to uh, full participation. Now, Kendricks popped up on the injury report at the end of last week with a toe injury, uh, but was – limited but he was fine on sunday harrison smith clear concussion protocol on monday uh so he's gonna be good to go for the saints game uh four dnps andrew boo jr with that quad injury now kevin o'call had uh had had hoped that uh booth was going to be available for the saints game who knows uh dalvin cook dnp'd with that shoulder i expect dalvin probably going to be dnp through most this week maybe he gets some limited uh work on friday but uh, i mean it's dalvin it's a shoulder injury that he's had before uh notably he ha had this uh, shoulder subluxation i don't know the term go, go read it somewhere else uh but he wore the harness against uh the steelers last year on thursday night football then ran for 205 and two touchdowns so i think that he's going to try and do that same thing again Again, uh, CJ Ham DMP'd with a foot. That's something worth, worth monitoring, as well as linebacker Zadarius Smith, who got dinged up late in the game uh, last week against the Lions, uh, listed as a knee injury. So that's something to monitor. Uh, Vikings' uh, only real practice again is going to be on Friday, but we shall see what happens. I mean, it's it's kind of fun that there's an odd game here, but I think the Vikings have a golden opportunity, uh, take a big-time win uh, in the conference, and go out and just get a W. Eating a W uh, at this neutral side game. Saints robbed of a home game. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Take a look at the first Viking Saints injury report. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more to work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.